arriving at destination biome. South American desert. Excuse us. I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Mind answering a few questions? Who's gonna pay for my stolen melon? That's the question. Uh, we hear you've had a problem with a sand snake? Serpent! Excuse me? <laughs> Here we go. You said sand snake, but it's a serpent. The sand serpent! I thought you said serpent is just another name for snake. Just go along with it. What can you tell us about this sand serpent? Nobody knows what it is, or what it wants, but it can pull you right underground. Like my poor melons. Every time it rains up and then their hills, the sand serpent comes and terrorizes the town. Huh? The sand serpent is back! Quick! Get off the ground or it'll pull you under! We've got to help them! Look out! Not again! Here! It's a coming for me! It's leaving. Everyone okay? No! Another one of my melons was taken by that no good stinking sand snake! Sand serpent! You said it only comes when it rains on them there hills! Well, it sure ain't raining now! Well, it's never done that before! Guess it does now. We're used to it coming every once in a while, but twice in one day is too much! I'm not made of melons! Don't worry, folks. We'll take care of this. We know what we're doing. So, what are we doing? Good question. We need to get a look at this sand serpent, but it never seems to come above ground. Not a problem. Cluebot, go! This Cluebot can track the sand serpent through its tunnels, so we can see what we're dealing with. There, that's it! It looks like it has fur and claws. Doesn't look like a snake to me. It's on the move again. been going on? Well, they've been fighting and rolling around wrecking stuff since, oh, around breakfast time. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll get tired soon. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Gila monsters have amazing stamina. They can keep this up all day. And the next day. And the next Kit, you should be resting. But thanks. <laughs> Gotta go! <sighs> there you go. Any idea why they're fighting? No idea. I just know that soon the whole town's gonna be nothing but a pile of rubble. Don't worry, Clay is on the case. Uh-oh. Oh my! Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Quick, get down! I'm Well, Sam is real confused now. He really misses his partner. Maybe she'd know what to do. Would you guys cut it out? Sorry. Come on, Sam. You can figure this out. Nobody knows why those healer monsters are fighting all over town, but we do know where they've been fighting. Hey, maybe that's a clue. Cluebots, show me all the damage these healer monsters have done. Hmm, all the fighting has taken place around this one spot. Maybe it's important. Maybe it's a pile of rocks. A pile of rocks! That's it! Kids, you really need to rest. 
Sam, those rocks are exactly the kind of place Gila monsters like to live. And I bet they both want to live there. Maybe I'd like to live there too. Whiskers, that's it! The Gila monsters are fighting over a home! <gasps> whoa, whoa! That giant boulder is the most important monument in our town! So much for their new home. Well, on the bright side, now they have nothing to fight over. <sighs> what is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. These falling trees are scaring away all my customers. No one wants to live here with trees falling all over the place. It's not safe. Trees are falling. Yeah, they're falling. What's to be done? What are we going to do? Don't worry, everyone. We're going to play, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Besides the falling trees, has anyone noticed anything unusual lately? I noticed that my second toe is longer than my big toe. Okay. Anyone else? You know, I did see someone chewing on a tree trunk. You did? Where? Oh. <gasps> a beaver! Stop those chompers! Hold it right there, beaver! Well, howdy! Can I help you two with something? That depends. Are you the one making trees fall all over the forest? Whoa, 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 all over the forest? That's against the beaver code. Beaver code? If I do chop down a tree, by the water it must be. He's right, Sam. Beavers don't chew trees willy-nilly. They only knock down trees near the water that they can use to build dams in their homes. And look, this beaver's chewing on the tree's trunk. But so far, all the other trees have fallen from their roots. What's that? There aren't any bite marks on this trunk, but there are bite marks on the roots. So, whoever is making the trees fall is chewing them from somewhere underground. Underground, like a burrow. I think this case goes deeper than we thought. Deeper? <laughs> That's a good one. Hmm. Looks like nobody's home. Hmm. This is an expertly dug burrow. Whoever dug this had sharp claws and teeth, and they like to collect food and store it for later. Aha! Food like tree roots. Could be a lot of different animals, but whatever it is, it's definitely traveling underground. And chewing on the tree roots as it goes. Which kills the trees, which makes them fall over. Wow! That is some mighty fine detective work. To catch that root nibbler, I bet you're gonna... gonna... Uh, what are you gonna do? Whiskers, that's it! We can follow the falling trees to nab the root nibbler. Cluebot, scan for falling trees. This is a map of all the trees that have fallen in the forest. And there are even more falling now in that direction. So the root nibbler must be tunneling that way. And fast. We'd better get moving. Thanks for your help. Good luck, agents. Well, back to chewing that tree. Huh, I won't make a sound. That wasn't me. It was my stomach. I haven't eaten all day. Next time, just eat the clay bars. Whoa, that cat is fast. Are you sure that's a cat? It moves just like a monkey. Whoa, where do these branches keep coming from? Gee, I don't know. We're in a jungle. got away. But she left some claw marks behind. And check it out. More clay bars are missing. Guess we know who's been eating our food. Hmm. So the baby monkey sounds led us to the cat. 
and the cat's been taking our food. A thieving cat and a missing monkey. Feels like there's some connection here. If only we could catch that cat and find out what she knows. <laughs> catch her? Did you see the way she moved through the jungle? Hmm, but maybe we could set a trap. We need something to use as bait. I think I know just the thing. Okay, like we practiced. Nice and loud so the cat can hear us. Hey, Sam! Look what I've got! A fresh, tasty clay bar! Your favorite! Oh boy! I sure hope no one takes this clay bar before I get to eat it because it is so... <laughs> delicious! Who wouldn't want to eat that? Seriously, who would want to eat that? Oh, we'd better go investigate that sound. But what about this delicious clay bar? <laughs> I know. Let us leave it right here. We are definitely walking away now. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Totally walking. La, 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 la. Start talking, cat! Sam? You hear that? Is it the princess? It doesn't sound like a princess. Sounds more like... A giant whirling dust devil? you doing here? What? Are we still above the palace? Yes, and you should be searching for the princess, not lounging around in the sand. <sighs> We're working on it. We were sidetracked by a scorching hot tornado of sand. No big deal. That guy seriously needs a vacation. I heard that! The dust devil blew away the footprints. Any idea which way the princess was going? No. But my eye spy glove might. It can detect a creature's body heat. There, that's gotta be her. Huh? Sorry, Sam. That's not gonna work. Naked mole rats become the same temperature as the air around them. Whiskers. Well, at least we know what direction she's headed. Come on. An oasis. Think she got thirsty? Mole rats actually don't drink. They get all the water they need from their food. Oh, well maybe she stopped to rest. Let's ask around. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen this mole rat? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've seen her. When? <laughs> she passed through a little while ago. She was wearing a real fancy hat. Looked brand new. A fancy hat? Like a tiara? No, I'd say it was more like a crown. Like the one the mole rat queen herself wears. Yeah, 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 just like that one. Hmm. hmm. Um, excuse me. Sorry. I thought I saw a bug. Aha! Kit, how does it feel to be in the presence of a master detective? Why, you see one around? I mean me. I've noticed another clue. Look at where we're standing. Under a tree? Exactly! All the rhino rages started under trees! Show her, Cluebot! Well, ain't that something? So there's a four-pod critter on the loose, jumping out of trees and scaring the rhinos! I think I saw it running away! You did? What did it look like, Reggie? Well, it was small, 
almost like a cat, with a pointy face and dark uh -huh. spots. Uh -huh. uh, like this? Yeah, that's it, but uh, without the go-kart. Yeah, I just like drawing go-karts. Hmm, a spotted cat creature. Sounds like a leopard to me. A leopard? You better be pulling my horn. Leopard? There's a leopard on the loose? Not so fast, Sam. This was no leopard. Look, the spots don't match, see? We can't risk it. If there's even a chance a leopard is attacking folks, I gotta shut down the watering hole. Aww. Hold up, Reggie. You might be able to keep the party going. If we can just figure out... The bugs! Whiskers, that's it! What's it? Kit, I know who's jumping on the rhinos. And I know how to catch her, too. Sam, this decoy looks pretty real. There's even bugs buzzing around it, just like a real rhino. But what's the plan here? Isn't it obvious? We're setting a trap. Someone with four muddy paws is jumping out of trees and onto the rhinos to eat the bugs. Of course. It must have been. <laughs> the Janet we met earlier. Whoa. There she goes. <laughs> Somewhere. Hi. How do I look? Just like a real. Come on. Hey. Let me into the village. You're pretty big for an inaccessible island rail. I, uh, my mom says I've always been big boned. <laughs> hmm. Well, still can't come into our village without a fight. You're on. You guys got moves, but nobody's ever beat the champ. Go, 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 go. Keep it up, Sam. You're doing great. Day, but that was really something. You may enter the village. <laughs> Open the gate! <laughs> Director, Director Scratch? Scratch? Well done, agents. You're all right. Where have you been? Right here in the village. The rails are old friends of mine. They helped me set up this little test for you. You mean this was a test too? That's right. A teamwork test. I needed to see if you two could work together. And I must say you did exceptionally well. Teamwork test. Passed. And another creature case closed. Well, ain't that something. Nice dancing, partner. Couldn't have done it without you, partner. All systems go. <laughs> Prepare for a takeoff. I'm 
Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Sorry guys, it's up to you now. Stay cool out there, Agent. You can count on us, Director. <laughs> <laughs>